So for the past week, I've been playing the new Dead Space remake that just came out, and I've really been enjoying it. It's an incredibly polished, excellent action horror game. But there's one feature in this game that I really wanted to make a video about because I'm fascinated by everything about its existence. So buried in the settings of this Dead Space remaster is this setting called Hide Disturbing Scenes. And at first I assumed this was just like a simple option to like skip particularly violent cutscenes. Um, it is not that. In fact, it is quite a bit stranger than that. Here, here's the wording that the game uses to describe this. Quote, hides the most disturbing scenes behind a screen effect. So as soon as I read that, I was immediately curious. Like, I need to know what this actually looks like. What do they mean by a screen effect? So I turned it on and started playing through the game, and it is so much weirder than I possibly could have guessed. The first time I encountered this, the first time I had this flipped on, uh, is relatively early in the game. There's a scene where this scientist is like behind glass in an operating room, and she does kind of the classic horror movie tropey thing where she, in a spooky way, like stares at you while she gives herself a, a bad boo-boo. By the way, Isaac's reaction in this scene, at least in my playthrough, is insane. Oh, oh. Like, who reacts to somebody giving their own boo-boo? <laughs> Anyways, I turn on the filter to see how this scene would be different, and they literally just put, like, a big sensor blur square over her for the duration of this boo-boo. And then after she's done getting her own boo-boo, the square vanishes, and you can see, like, all the blood that she squirted all over the glass and all the guts, like, behind her. Like, it, it just, it is just this brief little moment that is covered up and then everything before and after it is intact. Now that's interesting enough on its own. I don't think I've seen like real time in game blurring or censorship of this caliber since the penis that they censored out of Far Cry 4. Um, but it turns out there's more to it than that. So right when I think I've got my head wrapped around what this is, maybe an hour later into the game, I get to this scene where there's like a dead guy on an operating table and a alien monster shows up and transforms him into a monster. And the uncensored version of this scene honestly is not that bad. I would say it's like an incredible Hulk tier transformation. He gets all muscly and his skin's rippling, but it's not like, you're. I mean, you're looking at it right now. It's not that bad, right? Not disturbing, I'll just say, or I don't think it's disturbing necessarily, but um, what is at least interesting about this to me is the fact that this scene is censored in an entirely different way. Because this isn't in-game and it's a cutscene with like this kind of free-moving, steady cam style camera, they can't censor it by putting a box over it because the stuff they're trying to cover up here is everywhere. So what they do instead is that the camera pans over to Isaac, just like in the normal cutscene, and then this like super intense blur, almost like a depth of field effect kicks in and everything except Isaac gets blurred out. Everything that is not the main character in the game is just blurred to the point of being invisible. And the result is like just insane looking, like seeing this creature that is just a blur in a world that's just a blur with Isaac like swatting away at it. I think you could argue that this is more distressing than the pretty milk toast standard version of like, oh, the monster, the guy's turning into a monster. But that's just two examples that I encountered. Another thing that this filter does is I noticed it also hides what the game deems disturbing death scenes. So the idea is, you know, anyone who's played the original Dead Space knows that there's some pretty graphic deaths that Isaac can encounter. It's following, I think, the legacy of Resident Evil 4 in terms of like, oh, look at all the ways your hero can die. And there's some pretty, you know, limb removal, decapitating ones. But I noticed while playing with this setting turned on that every time I died, regardless of circumstance, the screen would cut to black and it would pop up this content warning. And this content warning thing, by the way, it's a separate thing in the options that I had turned off. I turned it off every time because it auto turns on when you turn on the like hide disturbing scenes thing. And while flipping that switch turns off the content warnings for like cutscenes, it leaves them on for deaths. And what I've learned through experimenting is EA used a like a hammer and not a scalpel for this problem. Because what I've learned through testing it is that every time you die, it's censored. So instead of going through and like and I'm sure they have a good technical reason for this. If you worked on this game, please tell me why this is the way it is. Um, every time you die, whether it's a normal death, it still cuts to black. They were not able, I, I'm sure for some technical reason, to go through one by one and choose which deaths are and are not disturbing. So every death in the game, blanket statement, is hidden when you have this setting on. And that means that pretty, like, inert 
undisturbing deaths, like the when the little crawly things climb on you or whatever, and Isaac just tips over or running out of air in outer space. All those get blanket covered up when you have this setting on. And this all just kind of leads me to, I guess, if there is a point to this video, and maybe there's not, I, I don't think this feature makes sense in this particular video game. Like, I'm just gonna say, during the 99% of the time in Dead Space where you're not watching a cutscene, the shit that's going on is like a billion times more violent than what's happening in most of these cutscenes. Like I really, to, I struggle to understand, I don't think a person exists in reality who would find the cutscenes in Dead Space unwatchably disturbing, but is fine with the moment to moment action in Dead Space where you're like shooting and skinning and mutilating these like mutated human being bone monsters. Like they went to great lengths. They've talked about it in building this game to create this whole system. You shoot the skin of the enemies and then the skin layer comes off and there's a muscle layer you can cut through and then a bone layer you can cut through and it's all like simulated and there's stretching tendons where the skin's rending apart. Motive put clearly an insane amount of time and effort and energy into making this beautiful, really technically robust, super impressive system for the gore in this game, but I gotta think that that's incompatible with any desire to make this game palatable by blurring out a couple cutscenes. Those two things just don't make sense together. They cancel each other out. There's constant dismemberment happening. That's like the core mechanic of Dead Space. You can walk up to like a, any dead NPC on the spaceship and hit the stomp button and immediately stomp all their arms and legs off. And none of this is even remotely censored because it's not a cutscene, it's a thing in the gameplay. And I guess that's my point. There is no way to hide disturbing content in Dead Space. You can't unmarry Dead Space from the violence in Dead Space because every second of playing Dead Space is full of blood and gore and violence. Like, I guess this is my conclusion. I think this feature exists for nobody. I don't think there exists a human being who, in the course of Dead Space, dismembering hundreds of bodies, picking up and throwing bodies at walls and watching the limbs fly. Maybe that's something I do. Maybe normal people don't do that. Um, but this game is like a non-stop runaway train of intense gore and violence, and I just don't think there's a person who's like, oh yeah, Dead Space, I'm totally, I love, I'm fine with all the dismemberment and the blood and the guts and the vomiting, but those cutscenes are just a, just a little bit too yucky for me. I'd, I'd, I'd play it if it weren't for those. Now one of the weird silver linings of me uploading this video to YouTube multiple times over the course of a month is I've gotten the chance to see some of y'all's comments and I've seen two theories that you guys have about why this feature exists in the game that I think are really interesting. Um, one theory that I've seen over and over is that this is a joke, that the developers put this in the game uh, to be funny, that they're somehow like in on it and they're making fun of the idea, the, the patently absurd idea of trying to take the violence out of Dead Space. And then the other theory is that this exists for content creators benefit, for people like me, so that we can play or stream Dead Space and in light of the very, very recently added, very draconian laws about video game violence in YouTube videos, this is there for that. And both of these ideas are really nice and really giving motive, understandably, the benefit of the doubt. I get where you're coming from. I love this game too. Uh, that's not why this is here though. I, I can say that conclusively now. Um, after finishing the first version of this video, I continued kind of digging into this as people were discussing it with me in the YouTube comments and found a whole section of EA's website that is essentially Electronic Arts patting themselves on the back for this kind of broken and useless feature they added. In this article, they say that they went further than most games do when it comes to, quote, broadening the audience, uh, that they have, quote, in a first for this type of game, added uh, options to warn players and even hide the content if the player chooses. Quote, the option will hide the upcoming scene behind a screen effect. You'll still hear any audio, but a blurring effect will hide the visuals until the scene is played out. Which, I mentioned this in the original video and cut it out for time. Uh, blurring it kind of makes it more disturbing. Like anyone who's watched any horror movie, anything like, like, just think about like any horror movie you've ever seen or even movies like funny games that were like the whole message of the movie is intrinsically tied to the violence happening off screen. If you hear something violent but don't see it, that is 99 times out of 100 fundamentally scarier than showing it because your brain fills in the gaps with whatever your worst fear is. Your brain will fill that blank space with the, the thing that you find the most disturbing personally, right? 
So, <laughs> if the goal is broadening the player base, I you could make the argument that they this actually backfired completely and makes the game more frightening in key scenes. At any rate, though, no, this is not here to help YouTubers or streamers or content creators. This is not there as an elaborate joke. Although, I you could make the argument, and I'm open to this argument, that this was handed down by EA uh, as something that Motive had to add to the game. And there's no, there, I'm sorry, there is zero chance that the people at Motive responsible for implementing this didn't find this at least somewhat funny. Like, it is so shoddily implemented and ineffective that surely somebody in the building realized that it was shipping in this state where it, like, <laughs> it was a band-aid on a gaping violent wound, appropriately, uh, and just was like, well, who cares? No one's gonna use this anyway. It's, we're, this is a performative act of quote unquote accessibility, this is not really helping a single human being on the planet. And to me, that's the key point. Even if this was put in there to help content creators, which it explicitly was not, it doesn't work. Like there's a moment in game where you walk into this room and there's a dude on an operating table and just like a chunk of his torso is out. It's gone. He's just like moaning and dying on this operating table. And it's completely, even with that filter on, it's uncensored. So the question is like, who is this for? Like if I'm being honest, and again, I love the game. I'm really enjoying my time with it. I recommend it. I think it's fun. If you liked Dead Space, if you like action horror games, great game worth playing. But I just, to me, this feature seems to exist so that they can say they did it. In other words, it exists to have this sort of pseudo-inclusive accessibility option as a checkbox on the list of features and to say like, oh, we have this for people who want to play that way. But I just don't think they succeeded. I think it doesn't make the game less disturbing if you want to play, for whatever reason, a undisturbing version of Dead Space, you know? Like, fundamentally, I don't have a problem with this feature existing. I'm sure there are plenty of games where this would make sense. Maybe there's people who, you know, want to play Call of Duty and don't want to perform a mass boo -boo. at an airport. That's totally your prerogative. You can turn those features on if you want. But in this game, like, it fundamentally just doesn't make sense. And not only does it not make sense, it literally doesn't function. If you're somebody who finds blood and gore disturbing, you probably shouldn't play Dead Space, because even with this option on, you're gonna see a lot of it. And turning this option on just functionally does not remove 99% of that blood and gore. Overall, I, I just think this is fascinating. Like, I don't think it's bad. I think it's really interesting. And I think it's like a fascinating case study in one weird and frankly failed approach to covering up violence in a video game. I think, you know, most of the time, the, you know, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 example I cited, there's just an option to skip these things. And for whatever weird technical reason, Motive decided that the way to go about this was to blur things out in real time, which is a fascinating, weird, kind of ineffective approach to solving this, this kind of made up problem. Um, I just kept thinking about this while playing this game. I thought it was really interesting and maybe worth highlighting in a video. And also I searched for videos on it and couldn't find any footage of this filter turned on. So let me down this whole rabbit hole of like trying to figure out why this exists at all. I've just never seen it done that way. I've never seen a game that like blurs out its violence in real time, except, you know, again, the Far Cry 4 penis, which if you want to know about it, Here's a link to that right here. At any rate, Dead Space is a good game. Uh, I just thought this was funny. Thank you for watching. Sorry I talked for so long. <laughs> Goodbye.